What's good, ladies and gentlemen, and the vase? It's Mr. Scopey here, and I'm back with another bookings video. Um, so it's been a uh, crazy, crazy month for WWE, I would say, um, and pro wrestling as a whole. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just get right into the good booking for Raw. I have my girl Liv Morgan. <laughs> I really enjoyed the story they told with Rhea and Liv, and it sucks that um, Rhea is out on injury and she had to relinquish the title. But uh, that gave Liv an opportunity to kind of, kind of, you know, make her make herself. I'd say a stable, you know, like kind of solidify herself in the division. So good for her. Good for Becky. Um, it sucks that Becky is not resigning as of yet with WWE, but hey, maybe maybe she's just going to take a break and extended leave like they say she is. I don't know. I hope so. Uh, anyways, huge fan of Rhea, huge fan of Becky, huge fan of Liv, and I'm glad Liv is finally getting some dubs, like big dubs, such as winning the title. You know, that's great. That's great. Uh, I know when I was at the, I think it was the, uh, yeah, it was like some sort of battle royale on Monday Night Raw when Becky won the title after Rhea had to relinquish the title. I was there live and like the crowd was going crazy for <laughs> Chelsea Green and Liv Morgan and Becky, of course, but like, you know, I think they would have been okay with if Liv won as well. Uh, but you know, Becky won. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> kind of rambling on, but yeah, uh, Liv Morgan is the good booking for Raw. Now, I do have an honorable mention for Raw. I'm just going to get out of the way right now. I'd like to give the honorable mention for good booking to Braun Breaker because they're kind of making him, uh, he, he, they're making him a beast. No pun intended. Um, I like what they're doing with that, and I hope they keep it up because... Anyways, SmackDown's good booking. I got to give it to Mr. RKO, Randall Keith Orton, Randy Orton. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they, they, I don't know, man. They just tell some great stories with him, like in-ring great stories with his uh, his back and, you know, kind of taking, taking damage that lasts throughout the whole King of the Ring tournament. And then... Of course, its conclusion was at the King of the Ring match of Gunther versus Randy Orton. Hell of a match. Loved it. They uh, they could even go further with those two because if anybody watched it, um, someone's shoulders were not all the way down on the mat. That someone being Randy. So they could they could tell a story, you know, right there. They could you know they could continue the feud. Uh, Gunther's great in the ring, and Randy, of course, you know, man, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what snapped, but he was like, "Yo, I'm trying to, I'm trying to do something real, real nice with this uh, King of the Ring tournament." So, yeah, kudos to Randy, kudos to Gunther, kudos to the producer of the match. Um, so yeah, now on to mid booking for SmackDown. I have Lyra Valkyria. It's not good. It's not bad. I think it's, I think it's okay. It's pretty solid. It's just, um, I don't want to say whether it's good or bad yet, you know? Uh, it needs more time, but she did have a good treatment in the Queen of the Ring tournament. I liked it. I was kind of surprised that they had her go into the finals. But hey, why not put more stars over as potential future, like, superstars, you know? Pot potential, um, like, the next Becky Lynch and bailey and, and and Rhea, you know you know you know <laughs> yeah i'm already saying Rhea, but uh yeah it's cool to establish new talent early on so good for them um for mid booking on raw i do have braun Strowman simply because it's not good it's not bad of course that's how i do it with this this mid booking stuff i want to see where it goes and it's it's you know somewhere in the middle so yeah, now on to the bad booking. I have Carlito. 
I don't know. I don't know what they're doing, really. I mean, the story is kind of interesting, but like his matches are just. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, like there was a couple matches he had after he was officially signed with WWE again and came into the LWO. Those were fine. But like, I don't know, man. His singles matches. Maybe, maybe I'm just disappointing myself with expecting too much, but I don't know. And I'm not an athlete by any means, and I can't do what they do in the ring. Um, so, you know, screw me. Shut the fuck up, Scobie. But uh, I don't know, man. He just seems like he could do more in the ring in his singles matches, especially like the match with, with Ray uh, on the, the, I think it was a SmackDown not smackdown i think it was the raw like last week so i don't know man i i like carlito but i'd like to see him do better now for the bad booking of smackdown i gotta give it to la knight because they kind of didn't really have too much of a direction with him and yeah they should they should do more. They planted some seeds, I will say, so that might change in June bookings. But like, right now, what? Well, right now, you know, uh, it's kind of it's kind of bad booking looking back on it, in my opinion. So yeah. But that's gonna be all for this bookings video. If anybody has any disagreements, or maybe you agree, or you just want to talk about wrestling in the comment section below, drop it, and we'll get to talking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys have a good day and peace out.